A subdomain is one way of organizing and separating content on your site. It is an extension of your domain itself where you can house another application. Your professor might require a subdomain for a class, or you may want to create another extension of your personal site. To get started, browse to umw.domains and click on the login slash sign up button. Log in to the UMW single sign-on page using your UMW net ID and password. You'll be greeted by the familiar cPanel dashboard. Since we're trying to, ins to create a new subdomain, we'll scroll down to the domains section. Locate the subdomains icon and click it. This page is the form used for creating a new subdomain. Choose a name for your subdomain and type it into the subdomain text box. Just like top-level domains, subdomains can only contain numbers, letters, and hyphens, and the best subdomains are simple, short, and descriptive. Some commonly used subdomains are project names and course title. Once you've typed in a name, and click outside of the text box, cPanel will automatically populate the document root for you. This will create a folder to contain your subdomain's files. You'll usually want this folder to match the name of your subdomain, so it's easy to identify where different files live in your account. You might want to change the document root if you already have a folder in your account that has the same name as the subdomain you are trying to create, although this should be rare. Once you're done, click Create. If everything went well, you should see a message that your subdomain was created successfully. Your subdomain will now be available as an option for automatic installation of various software using Installatron. If you prefer to install web applications manually, you can do so in the document root 